Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to explain what total variable costs are and also how you calculate them using this table. And this table you can see in full with other costs in another video. So first of all, the definition is the total a business must pay for their variable costs at a given level of output. So it's the total amount that the business are going to have to pay for these variable costs. And they can look at any level of output to see how much they'll have to pay. And the next thing that we need to know is what are variable costs? These are costs which change with the level of output. So, for example, if you have a factory producing cars, in this factory, every time they make a new car, they'll need to spend more money on metal. They'll need to spend more money on tyres, so you'll need the tyres for the car and they'll need to spend more money on bulbs to put in the lights of the car. There'll be lots of other variable costs as well for this car factory. But we know that each time they make a new car, the business will have to spend more money on each of these three things. And therefore, your variable cost is going to be greater if you're producing more cars. The next thing that we can do before we look at it in more detail is see how you would fill in each column in this table. We know, as we've seen in another video, that your fixed cost is always going to be exactly the same. And we know that your total cost, the way that you work that out, is your total fixed cost plus your total variable cost. So you're adding these two together to get this. And therefore, to work out our total variable cost, we can do our total cost, take away our total fixed cost, and we'll end up with this. Because these are costs which change with the level of output, if we go back to what you need to make your car, if you're not making any cars, your variable cost will be zero. And this is showing us that when we decide to make one car, the amount of money the business has to pay for their variable costs for these things is six. If they decide to make two cars, then they'll be spending 11 on all of their variable costs for making the first car and the second car. So remember, it's the total that they have to pay for all of the cars that they're making. So we can then work out that down here, we know that our total cost is 60 and we know that our fixed cost is 40. So therefore, the variable cost here must be 20 because it's 60 take away 40. If we decide to make five cars, then you do 66, take away the 40, that will give us our total variable cost. And if we just wanted to put in our total cost just to practice, this will be 40, 46, 51, and 55. Remember for the total cost, you're just adding together these two. And now you can see for your business, for any level of output, the business can work out how much will they have to pay in variable costs. So they know if they just produce one car, their variable costs will be six. If they decide to make two cars, all together, they'll be paying 11 in variable costs for these things. If they decide to make four cars all together, in total, they'll be paying 20 for their variable costs. So it enables a business to work out how much they'll be spending on variable cost, depending on their level of output. And because every time you make an extra car, you have to spend more money on these variable costs, this means that as output goes up, 
the value for your total variable cost is going up. Something that we'll look at in later videos is about economies of scale. And this means that generally when you produce more units, the amount that you pay for your variable costs will actually decrease. And that will mean that this number will be going up more slowly. But that's something a bit more complicated for later on. The other thing, finally, to be clear on is that this total variable cost is looking at the total amount you're paying for these variable costs at a given level of output. It is not saying that the variable cost for making the second car is 11. It is not saying that. That would be to do more with the margin, which again, we look at in a different video. The thing to remember here is you're selecting a level of output. If we make four cars in total, we'll pay 20 pounds for our total variable cost. So this is a summary. How do you calculate and how do you interpret total variable costs?